Warning, this video is created for the educational use and to show the various techniques of the wireless penetration testing. Using this information for the malicious activity can send you behind the jail. In this video, we have used our own router for the demonstration, so don't be a fool and act smartly. Okay, so let's see the IP address of our Kali Linux. Because we have no external adapter connected to it but it must have created some internal virtual interface so let's try to do the IW config and there it is it has the Ethernet 0 and the loopback interface so we have to connect external wireless card to be able to hack the Wi-Fi networks okay so what we will gonna do is I have the TP-Link USB Wi-Fi adapter so I will connect that Wi-Fi adapter into my laptop now the external USB Wi-Fi adapter has been connected. Now what I will do is I'll try to do the IW config again. Okay guys, so now we have connected the external USB Wi-Fi adapter which is the WN0. Now let's try to enable the monitor mode. So before we further proceed on to the monitor mode, I wanted to talk about the monitor mode. Actually there are two types of mode present into a wireless card. First one is the managed mode which is opt by the wireless card by default. And second one is the monitor mode. Okay, on to the managed mode, we can connect to anyone's Wi-Fi with the credentials. But on to the monitor mode, we can inject the packet to some router. We can do more things which we cannot do on to the managed mode. Okay, so that's the reason why we put our wireless card onto the monitor mode to hack the Wi-Fi and all these things. So here I'm using the TP-Link USB Wi-Fi adapter and its model is TL-WN7. 22n so this usb wi-fi adapter supports the monitor mode and it doesn't require any kind of driver to be installed in the kali linux operating system so now what i'm going to do is i'll try to enable the monitor mode so for enabling the monitor mode all you need to do is to just type in here airmon ng start wlan 0 hit enter and when you will gonna do this then let's do the iw config and there it is wn0 mon so the monitor mode has been enabled on the WN0 and the WN0 interface is no more available and it has been replaced via WN0 mon. So now what you need to do is let's check if our WN0 mon is working or not. So let's scan all the networks around us via command called aerodump ng. Ng. Now we need to specify the interface and interface should be of the monitor mode. So I am going to type in here WN0 mon hit enter. Now when I will do this then I will be able to see all the available Wi-Fi around me. Okay guys so these are the available Wi-Fi around me and here we have the VSSID. It means the MAC addresses of every single router which are in the range of our USB Wi-Fi adapter. And there are four routers found here. The data, it means the packets traveling between the routers and the stations. Okay, So this router is quite active. It means it is continuously sending the packets. People are using this particular router very frequently. Okay, But all these three routers are in the passive state. It means either there is no client connected to all of these router or it may happen that the client are connected to the Wi-Fi router but they are not using the Wi-Fi router right now. Okay, So this is the Ninja router which is quite active. And these are the stations which are connected to the corresponding routers. So here it is E006. This is the MAC address which is connected to this particular router that is 908D. And 908D is the Ninja router. Okay. And 8C77165D this is connected to the 2C colon 30. And 2C colon 30 is the movie router. Okay. So if you wanted to capture the information of particular router, then how you will gonna do this? For capturing the information of particular router, what you need to do is, you need to simply type in here, aerodump ng, and then B stand for the BSSID, and BSSID is, suppose I wanted to see the connected client of the Ninja router, then what I will do is, I will simply copy this MAC address, which is the MAC address of the Ninja router. Okay. And let's put the channel. Channel name is 1. 
and the interface name and interface name is wn 0 mon and hit enter so it is saying invalid band maybe we have to put the bsid here dash dash bsid and here we need to put the channel i guess and you can see guys this ninja router have the two clients connected to it first one is the e0 06 now it has the three client connected to it now they can see data is increasing at very high rate it means this router is quite active the traffic on this router is very high so what we can do here is we can do the sniffing of these stations which are connected to the bssid so for doing the sniffing what you need to do is you need to simply press the ctrl c to stop this process now what i will do is i will simply type in here write because I wanted to write all the packets which are flowing from this router to somewhere else. I wanted to write it into the test file and hit enter. Now what will gonna happen? It will write all the data packets which are coming from this Wi-Fi router into a file called test. Let's give it some time. Now let's press the control C. Do the LS here. And they can see guys we have put the file name as test but it has already created the four file here test01.cap test01.csv and all these files now what I am going to do is I am going to look for these packets in the detail so for that I am going to make the use of Wireshark so I am going to open the Wireshark by typing the Wireshark command in the terminal hit enter now it is taking a bit of time and there we go now it is loading the modules now it is giving us warning so let's click on ok now what I'm going to do is I will give it a file and click on this icon that is open a captured file and we have captured the file called test and to this Wireshark we are going to give this file that is test-01.cap open this file so when I will click on open you can see the details of the packets captured from this router you can see this is the D-Link router and the device which was connected to the D-Link router was this Honchai's Precision and this is the network interface name actually and let's see the other packets and there is Roku's wireless here it may be Roku's Wi-Fi and we have other packets information as well let's scroll down to the bottom most packets are exchanged between the Hornchai Precision and the D-Link router so maybe this is the client which is consuming much data ok guys so this is how we capture the packets which are flowing from the router so we can capture them and can see the generalized information via Wireshark.